Welcome to a Minecraft tutorial on how to get Palm and PBR working with Minecraft. Now if you don't know what Palm is, it stands for Parallax Occlusion Mapping and it essentially gives a uh, 3D surface so you can see with this glowstone here and as well as with this uh, cobblestone there's there's depth in, get out of here, there's depth in here, <laughs> trying to sabotage my recording here. Oh I know, I wonder where that pig went. Anyways, and uh, PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering and essentially gives a, a shiny surface. So you can see with this uh, gold, it's uh, shiny looking. Um, well, not as much now because there's no sun, but you get the idea. Now I'm currently in 1.14, and I currently already made a tutorial on how to do this. And it's essentially the same for every version of Minecraft, as long as Optifine supports shaders, which I think that starts at 1.7, then it will work. But I just want to, you know, make a new one, clarify some things, and go a little more in depth with the whole process because I got a lot of questions. So you want to go to Optifine.net and download Optifine. Uh, all the links will be in the description for everything. So you just go over to Downloads and you pick the one for the version you're using. Generally, it's the newest one here. You just click Mirror and it'll download it. And then you want to run it. And by default, it's a .minecraft uh, folder, which is where you want it. You just click install, and it'll say successfully installed. Now you want to go over to your Minecraft launcher, and in the top right where it says installations, you want to click on that, and you want to click on the Optifine profile that was installed. And then you want to go down to more options here, and this is where you're going to want to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. Now by default, I think it's 2 gigs, and which is it's this little piece of code right here. The rest of it, you can actually just delete it. You don't need it. And you want to change it, you want to have at least 4 gigs allocated to Minecraft. So it would just say 4G there. Um, personally for me, I use 8 gigs just because I have 32 gigs of RAM on my system. And you generally don't want to allocate more than half of your system RAM. So if you only have 8 gigs, you want to allocate 4 gigs at the most. So generally speaking, 4 gigs is the probably what you want to use. I just use 8 because I can. You want to save that and go ahead and play. Once the game is loaded, you want to go to Options, Video Settings, and then Shaders. Now right now in this list, these are all the shader packs that support Palm and BBR. Now not all shader packs support that, but these are the most popular ones that do support it at the moment. I will get more into the settings of these later, but right now we need to go check out the resource packs. And also, for the uh, Sonic Ether shaders, only the SUS Renewed or the SUS V11 support Palm. The Path Trace Global Illumination, which is the ray tracing uh, shader pack, does not support Palm or PBR. Well, it actually does support PBR, but not Palm. So the next step is picking a compatible resource pack. Now, not all resource packs support Palm and PBR. There's actually only a handful out right now, but I will go ahead and show you all of them right now. And all the links will be in the description. So first, we got the uh, Stratum resource pack. You have the uh, 128X, which is free, and the rest of them you have to pay for. Next, you have the Apultra Revisited, which is by Atlas Graphics. Uh, the 128X is also free, and the rest you also have to pay for them. The next one is Chroma Hills Texture Pack. Uh, this is a really good one. It's a 128X, and it's completely free. Uh, when you're downloading this, you want to make sure you pick the shader add-on one here. You don't want to pick this one. It needs to be the shader support add-on, because it has all the Palm and PBR textures in it. The next one is the Realistico, and now this one you have to pay for. It's a 512X, but it's only about three US dollars, um, and it you can see it really looks amazing. It's definitely worth getting. And by the way, all those ones are supported up to 1.14. Now, by far the most popular texture packs that support Palm and PBR are the SNK Photorealism and the R3D Craft. Now, these are only supported up to 1.12. So above that, they will not work, but they're still awesome, and you should give them a try. And so you scroll down here. So here's the R3D Craft download. Now for this, you need the actual texture pack, which is here. And then you need the both the Palm extension and the PBR extension. So if I were to download the 128X texture pack, I would need the Palm 128X and the PBR 128X. Once you download all three of these, you need to enable all three at the same time in Minecraft, and I will show you that a little later. And here's the SNK photorealism. It's the same thing. You need the texture pack and both of the extensions with the correct resolution. You want to head back over to Minecraft, and you want to enable your desired texture pack, which I just have Chroma Hills right now, the 128X. And you also want to head over to video settings, then shaders again. 
you want to pick one of the uh, shaders that support palm and pvr i'm just using the continuum right now and you want to go to the bottom right and go to shader options now this is where it varies for every shader pack out there uh generally you're looking for something that says surface options or material settings or terrain something like that and if you're having trouble finding the correct setting just uh, leave a comment and i will help you but for the continuum 1.3 it's surface options and palm and specular and then palm so you want to enable palm right here turn that on and then you want to look for something that says texture pack resolution that needs to be set to the resolution of your texture pack so chroma hills is 128x so it needs to be set to 128x and you also have usually a few other settings such as palm distance which is essentially it determines how far the palm carries out from your player so the farther you make this the bigger number more it will uh, drop your FPS because it's got to render more and more palm and PVR textures. So generally you just keep that the same. And then you also have palm depth, which shows how much depth. I'll, I will show you that right now, actually. And right now the palm depth is set to two and you can see what it looks like. If I go into the uh, shader options and surface options, palm, and I can increase it to let's say five, which is completely overkill. It'll look really weird, but it's an option if you like it like that. And also, if I change the texture pack resolution to something that isn't my texture pack, a lot of times you'll see uh, see weird stuff like that. You also sometimes see lines on the blocks, as you can see, like right there. So yeah, you want to make sure that's set correctly as well. Now this is kind of hard to see, but with the lowest palm distance, you can see as I kind of go out, it kind of like flattens out almost. But yeah, if you're having performance issues, you can always drop that setting because it won't have to render as many textures. But generally, I would keep that default. You also have, for the continuum shaders, at least the low quality palm. So if you're having performance issues, you could also try that. It's not as good as the actual palm, but it's an option as well. All right, now I'm currently in 1.12. I'm going to show you the R3D Craft and the SNK Photorealism texture packs on how to enable those. It's very simple. Um, they're not supported for 1.12 technically, they're for, for 110, but they still do work. So I just want to put that out there. So again, you want the, the texture pack itself right here. You have a lot of texture packs, I know. Just don't worry about it. I'll get here eventually. Okay, so you want to enable all three of them. The texture pack itself, uh, the PBR extension, and the palm extension. All three of them at the same time. And this is the 512X, so it's it might blow up my computer. Just give it a few minutes. All right, it loaded finally. And as you can see, there's a bunch of lines on the blocks. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I switched over to the uh, the SUS uh, shaders right now. So anyways, shader options. And on this one, it's surface options. Most, most of them say surface options or material settings, something like that. And let's see here. Palm is on. You want to change the texture resolution to... 512 since this is a 512 texture pack I'll turn that on probably gonna blow up my computer, but it's fine I got to crank up the palm depth on this one because it's a little low and as you can see There's palm Does this gold texture. Oh, yeah, there's PBR on the gold there. Look at that. It's like a pillow almost Yeah, so yeah, um It's the same thing for the SNK photorealism if you're wondering I know a lot of people have problems with this texture pack lagging like really bad even when in the menu like this. So one way to fix that, you can go to options, video settings, and animations and you want to turn off terrain animated. If that doesn't work, also turn off textures animated, but I'm pretty sure it's just terrain animated and that should fix the lag that you are having hopefully. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any uh, comments or uh, concerns or questions, just leave them in the comments. I will get back to you pretty quickly. And uh, that's about all for this. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one.